Hey guys, this is Bento Aguirre for the comic book score and I'd like to introduce you to one of my guests today. That's right, Mr. Deadpool. Alright, so checking out this comic book store. It's pretty cool and got a couple of back issues here. You got a nice Wonder Woman over there. Look at that, eh? Pretty neat. Uh, a lot of gaming stuff. Uh, we have books. More of their more expensive books are usually up on top in these um, beams here. But it's pretty cool. Um, there's a couple books I think I'm gonna pick up from here. Um, but yeah, a lot of cool stuff. Um, look at that. And we also have some of the newer issues back there. Uh, a lot of gaming dice. Pretty cool. Look at that. Just saw this uh, Spider-Man dice. That's pretty cool, eh? Um, and, uh, yeah, there's a gaming area back there, a whole bunch of comics up on there, so we're going to take a look at those before I leave, uh, look at that, that's pretty cool, right, Stormtrooper there, again, a lot of gaming stuff, um, Dungeons and Dragons, um, well, look at this thing, eh? Pretty cool. Um, so yeah, we're gonna take a look, see what they got. Uh, not a lot of back issues, but there's some books up here they have on the beams. Uh, more of the more expensive stuff is all up here. So um, I'm gonna take a look and see what they got. A lot of trade paperbacks. Um, so we're gonna take a look and see what they got. Right. Also have some magic gathering. Books up there, and yeah, we're gonna. And there's Mateo wearing his flash shirt. A couple of GI Joes and Transformers. We'll take a look at those. And that's it, guys. Cool. They're pretty cool up there, you yeah. know. Yeah. Check out these. They got some X Men up here, right? Look at that. See? Got some X Men comics. Oh. Do I have chocolate on my face? Hey? Do I have chocolate on my face? Yeah. Just maybe a little bit of chocolate. But yeah, check it out. A whole bunch of X-Men up here. That's pretty cool. Cool shop, man. Look at that. Got some new comic book back issues here. Got the, we got Deadpool going on here. Great paperbacks. Got a pretty cool woman, Wonder Woman back there. Yeah, so we are in Kingston, Ontario, and uh, yeah, I just found this comic book store. Uh, checking out what they got. I, think I saw a couple books I might be getting, but uh, yeah, those are pretty neat books. Huh. Some Spectres, if you're a Spectre fan. Chapter number 22. Couple green lanterns up there. Ooh, number 50. I'll be picking up that one there. Um, yeah, we got a lot of gaming stuff. Um, some more comic books up there. Just trying to figure out where are the back issues. Alright, so. Good stuff, eh? And there's my little daughter checking out. Look at that, pretty cool mask. That's a pretty cool mask, eh? Got a couple Conans up there. Some Red Sonyas. That's awesome. Is it really? Yeah. That's hilarious. See by the teddy bear? Uh, the other way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
chocolate's so cute. I used to have room on the shelf for it, but yeah. And the picks toward her inside the box. Oh, it's adorable. Let's see if there's any comic books here. Got a lot of albums and ooh, what do we got here? We got the two dollar comic bins. Take a look. Um, you know, it's gonna be hard to hold my phone and go through all this, but I'll let you know if I find anything. Back of comic books down there. Pretty cool stuff, huh? Mm -hmm. Hey, look. Right, let's see if there's any comic books here. Got a lot of albums and ooh, what do we got here? We got the two dollar comic bins. Take a look. Um, you know, it's gonna be hard to hold my phone and go through all this, but I'll let you know if I find anything. Stack of comic books down there. Pretty cool stuff, huh? Mm -hmm. Hey, look. I have the phone. Oh, my God, I love that. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Eh? I love that. Little hockey table. Get a Wayne Gretzky stand there. Pulling a the quarter bottle. Some pretty cool stuff, you know? But I'm going to take a look at uh, these uh, comic books. Hey guys, I'm in Colburn, and tomorrow I'm going to check out this place here. And it's called Retro and Hand Project. And they're open tomorrow, but uh, I look through the window here, and I can see some comic books in there. Hard to see, but there's a sign far back there that says uh, comic books. Uh, cards, arcade, so uh, I'm gonna take a look at that. Uh, I picked up some books here for two bucks at this place here called Sydney Clear uh, Antiques and Collectibles. Um, so uh, I'll show you what I got when I get home. All right, guys, picked up a couple comic books over the last two days. Um, checked out three different places. Uh, one was an antique shop in Colburn that had some comics. Uh, another place was in uh, Kingston, a uh, place called Nexus Comics, and uh, another place in downtown um, Belleville. Um, so yeah, this is what I got. So these ones here, this is a Infinity Inc. Uh, early Todd McFarlane uh, work on this book. 
Uh, we have in task four, number 354. Um, this is a minor key. Uh, I thought this was just a cool cover for three bucks. We got a Conan number two. Uh, we have, I believe this is also a key issue, a She-Hulk number three. And we have the second appearance. This is Blue Beetle um, number two. Um, you know, got this for 15 bucks, which I believe is a really good deal for this book. This is a second appearance. Um, then from Nexus in Kingston, um, I didn't get this cover, so I uh, really like this cover a lot. It's a homage cover, and I picked up two of them. And then I also picked up uh, Star Wars Episode One, uh, Darth Maul. I believe this is a key issue. Uh, paid 35 bucks for it. Did don't have in my collection. This one's a really good shape, near mint, no dings or anything on this thing. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a key. Uh, we also have the Spectre. We paid 12 bucks for this, but this is uh, first um, work done by Alex Ross. Um, so yeah, this book is picking up a little bit of steam. So if you're an Alex Ross fan, it's a must-have book. So saw it there for 12 bucks. I have to had to have it. Uh, we also have Wrath of the Spectre, uh, number one. Uh, you know, paid three dollars and fifty cents. That was a pretty cool cover. We have Green Lantern, number fifty. This is a key issue. Also, this one here is a newsstand. Got this one for four bucks. Good deal. Uh, also, a uh, nice uh, Dave Stevens cover. We have Alien Worlds. Um, paid uh, five dollars and fifty cents. This is number two, but uh, nice cover by Dave Stevens. Um, then we went to visit a pawn shop, uh, that comics, and these are two dollars each. So we have a nice Arthur Adams cover, Marvel Holiday Special. We have a, um, I think this is some, um, might be a variant cover, but uh, Secret Wars, uh, Secret Love. I thought that was pretty cool. It reminds me of uh, um, Roy Lichtenstein. Uh, Six Gun Gorilla, number one. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, Blaze, uh, final issue, number 12. Sometimes these final issues are hard to come by. Uh, we have The Return of Creature Commandos, Action Comics, number 872. Uh, this one could start picking up some steam soon. We got Booster Gold, number one. Uh, Booster Gold number five. I believe this is also a key issue. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, two bucks, not bad. We have Blue Beetle number 36. This is the final issue on this run. Uh, we have Fantastic Four with um, Kang on the cover. This is also Newsstand. Uh, we also have these, I believe, are also were somewhat um, low prints. Uh, Dr. Voodoo. Uh, Avenger of the Supernatural. This is number four. And we found also number one. Not bad for two bucks, guys. Um, I thought this was pretty cool. Marvel, the hip hop covers. Uh, we also have a nice little foil cover here. 2099 AD Apocalypse, number one. Uh, we also have, I believe this is a first uh, appearance of a female Kang. Um, the Ultimate's number 30. Uh, we also have another key issue, number 39 of Green Lantern. thought this was a cool Alex Ross cover, female Thor, number 5 of Earth X. We have a later issue of Ghost Rider, Ghost Rider 61. I like these later issues. We have Doom 2099 AD. I thought that was pretty cool. Number 35. Again, another later issue in this series. And this is just uh, uh, Marvel Visions, uh, November, number 23. Um, I picked this up because it has, um, you know, the secrets of Neil Adams on there. Um, you know, the art of Mary Severin, Gil Kane, Al Williamson. I thought this was a cool, cool book. I just wanted to read it. Uh, but yeah, again, guys, uh, this was all $2. So uh, yeah, check out these uh, antique shops. Sometimes you never know. You might find uh, some treasures there. Uh, but this is what I picked up over the last two days. And there's more to come. Have a great evening.